Hi, I'm Michael Moynihan with Reason TV, and today we're talking to John B. Taylor, author, author of Getting Off Track, How Government Actions and Interventions Caused, Prolonged, and Worsened the Financial Crisis. John is a professor at Stanford University and a fellow at the Hoover Institution. John, give us a rough idea of the premise of this book and, uh, and uh, why this seems to go against the general uh, conventional media wisdom about the financial crisis. Well, the, the conventional wisdom is that markets screwed up and need to have a lot of regulation and rarely is the role of government mentioned in a, a positive way of maybe uh, having caused this. So what I did is looked at the data, looked at the numbers, didn't really try to look for a particular reason, but what kept popping up in each case that government seemed to be there trying to do too much frequently, trying to intervene too much, and actually made things worse, and that's what I found. Give us an example of, of uh, a government intervention that either created or helped create or even prolonged the crisis. Well, I think the easiest example is to go back to last uh, fall when you had this panic and the markets crashed and you had, there you see uh, the government coming forth with a huge package, $700 billion, and, you have the Secretary of the Treasury and the Chairman of the Federal Reserve going to the Banking Committee and with only two and a half pages of legislation, kind of talking the economy down in order to, to attract interest. And uh, people were kind of shocked, quite frankly. And, uh, and I think that had a lot to do with uh, the lack of trust, the lack of confidence. And people realized government didn't have much of a plan at that point and uh, tried to intervene, but made it worse. Yeah. What do you make of uh, the current uh, situation, the bailouts, the trillions of dollars that are being thrown to God knows where. Well, ironically, it's just more of the same, you know. It, it basically, not, instead of looking at what has actually happened with these government interventions, we're just doing them some more. And so this large stimulus package, $787 billion, doesn't do much to stimulate the economy. We tried that last year, had a big stimulus package in 2008, didn't work, we're doing it again. You have a, a plan to deal with the banks, not articulated very clearly. Uh, the uncertainty, again, tanks the market. So it's, it's really a continuation, in some sense, even worse. In, it, I mean, is there, is there an inevitability about the rebounding of, of the American economy? And if, if that does take place, let's say, in the next couple of years, um, does, is it, is it, are we in a difficult position as relatively free market people that the Obama administration and its supporters will take credit for, for the recovery of the American economy. It's a possibility, and, and it's always a possibility to say this worked and that didn't work and not looking at the data. I hope people look at the numbers because it really, you can really find out what's going on just instead of just listen to somebody say something. Look at what actually happened. It's pretty convincing to me. We have five chapters here, and, ev and every one of them is, is, is pretty much a question. What caused the financial crisis is chapter one. Fifteen pages. Can you give it to us in a couple of sentences? Monetary excesses. The Federal Reserve took the interest rate down to very low levels, 1%, kept it there for a long time. That generated a housing boom because interest rates were so low. Housing boom inevitably brings a bust and all of the foreclosures and all of the bad debt that comes from that. So monetary excesses. Second chapter uh, is another 10 to 15 pages on what prolonged the crisis. What the prolonging, the simplest way to think, is misdiagnosed. It's like a patient comes in, got cancer, the doctor says you got a digestive problem, treats it with something to cure the indigestion, and the cancer gets worse. And in this case, the misdiagnosis was that they thought it was just a liquidity problem, not enough money. In fact, it was a problem in the banks. Banks had problems on their balance sheets. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead to the, the fourth chapter, um, which is uh, uh, a bit of a positive note. What went right in the yeah. two decades before the crisis? I can't imagine anything going right in the economy at all, but two decades before, things are going swimmingly. Absolutely. Right? No, you think about it. It was the, the economists call this period the great moderation or the long boom because long expansions in really short recessions, people forget what mm -hmm. big recessions were, but since the early 80s, all the way through actually now, this is a serious recession, very smooth times. And again, a lot of, not a lot of intervention, uh, kind of a hands-off policy in many respects, monetary policy filing, pretty clear guidelines, uh, a lot of uh, deregulation policies that freed up markets, lower tax rates, all those things which generated a consistently strong economy for almost, uh, almost 25 years, at least two decades. So now we, we are in the difficulty we're in. Do you see a danger that, that we are going to have 
you know, obviously the amount of government intervention we've had in the past uh, past uh, couple of months is, is frightening. Re-regulation, bad policy, what do you see as uh, the idiotic solutions <laughs> that people well, are trying to push. I'm very concerned with that yeah. because, because again, now you know, my story here isn't told very much. Yeah. The story that government was really at the center of this and causing the problems. It's usually there's a problem with the markets and we've got to even do more yeah. of these things. You know, President Obama talking about the only solution is government. And so I'm worried, quite frankly, that we're going to be doing the wrong thing for a while and it's going to take a while to get back on track. You know, it took when, when uh, Reagan came in in the early 80s, that was a getting back on track issue because we didn't have good performance in the, much of the 70s. High inflation, a lot of instability. So it's, it's going to take some effort and a lot of communication and showing people that in fact the, there's nothing wrong with the market system. A lot of intervention caused these problems. Thank you, John, for coming by. Thanks for talking to us. I enjoyed it. And uh, everyone uh, should go out and pick up uh, Getting Off Track, uh, which is available at uh, Amazon.com. Uh, and for Reason TV, I'm Michael Moynihan.